everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys today we're going to continue suffering with rainbow high dolls i don't know why but every time i'm working on a rainbow high doll something terrible is happening really when i was working on the first one i suffered a lot with this resin in her eyes separating from the acrylic paint it really took me days to find a solution for this situation then i was working on this big rainbow high doll and i had a lot of suffering with the bubbles in her eyes in this resin so let's give another try <laughs> let's repaint the third rainbow high doll on this channel i really hope that nothing terrible is going to happen today i already have some experience so let's hope it's gonna be good i've got a whole bunch of rainbow high dolls as a gift thank you so much you know who you are this is the same person who gave me this beautiful vintage barbie also as a gift so now i have a lot of dolls to experiment on them so let's choose one of these rainbow high dolls and let's give her a big makeover especially i'm going to experiment with her eyes i really love the way i made the eyes of my big rainbow high dolls when i just drilled this hole fill it in with resin and then paint it at all it was really good but i really suffered with these bubbles in her eyes but since these dolls have smaller eyes i will have to use less resin so probably i will have less bubbles i don't know let's choose one of these dolls quickly and let's start this makeover but also guys of course like always don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course please support my art here on youtube with your likes and i'm going to start working so here are all the four dolls that i have and i don't know i will go probably with this one with the orange doll they will anyway look exactly the same after i remove their hair and outfits because their faces their bodies they're absolutely identical so let's go with this one today and let's first unbox her quickly because this packaging reflects the lights and you can see just nothing probably So this is a super cute doll, but this is honestly the crunchiest hair I've ever seen. Anyway, it doesn't really matter since I'm going to give her different hair later. So, and now let's probably start the makeover. First of all, I have to undress her, then I will cut her hair off, remove her face with acetone. You know, all the standard steps you have to take to destroy a doll and to make a new one.
okay, all the original features are gone and I can start working on her eyes. I want to make them three-dimensional using the same technique as for my big rainbow high doll and it means that right now I'm going to drill holes in her eyes and then I will fill in the holes with epoxy sculpt. This is how it looks the next day, when the epoxy gets dry, everything is good so far. And now let's make her a pair of fox ears out of Warbler Thermoplastic, because I'm going to make a Kitsune doll today. A magical fox that comes from Japanese folklore. And first of all I'm forming, shaping these ears out of Thermoplastic. And after this I'm going to paint the ears with acrylics, just to block the main colors, white and orange. And after this I will spray the face with Mr. Super Clear sealant to make it matte and paper-like. And after this I will sketch the eyebrows and start working on her skin tone. I want to give her a very bright orange and pink eye look. I like this orange with pink color combo. I think it will look very cute on a young fox. You know, Kitsune can be both evil and kind. And with this cutesy face mold, we are going for a sweet young character today, I think.
Now let's paint her eyes with white acrylics and the pupils I want to make very very bright green. And I also cannot forget working on her ears. I don't really make those with ears that often, so I might forget about them eventually. In the end I want to add some freckles to her face, I think it will fit her look. And for this I will need orange acrylic paint, diluted with a lot of water and a brush with really hard bristles. Okay, we're done with her face, guys. Now I could, in theory, start filling in her eyes with resin. But you know, honestly, I'm just back from holidays. I had fantastic time in Mexico. Got some color to my pale skin. And you know, with all this joy inside of me, I'm simply not ready yet for the resin disaster. So let's work on her hair first. I want to give her pink hair with orange accents, I think it will look really cool on her. And for this I will have to turn this yarn into shining hair. After this I will glue it to the doll's hat using tacky glue and then we will style it together.
And as for styling, I decided to give her two braids. It looks really cute and a little bit mischievous, you can say, so it kind of fits the character. Really happy about her so far. But now, guys, all my happiness is going to disappear <laughs> because it's resin time. I cannot avoid this moment anymore. So, the pupils I will make out of pin hats. I really like the way they worked on my previous dolls. I just want to change the order of the steps because before I used to glue the pupils first to the irises and then I fill it in with resin and I ended up with bubbles. And this time I want to cover the irises with a thin layer of resin first and then install the irises into this resin. And like this I will normally avoid the hidden bubbles that are potentially hiding under the pupils. The first layer looks flawless so far. Good, let's continue. The second layer looks good so far, let's cure it. we've got cracks today. I don't know guys, I don't even know what to say. It was flawless before curing, you could see it. And something wrong happened again during the 60 seconds inside of the lamp. Anyway, let's just continue and see where we will end up with it. So, except for the crack that happened on the level 2 and that I cannot explain, all the rest looks really, really, really good. And even this crack is not really that much visible. I don't hate it at all. I don't know, she has a pair of beautiful green eyes. The cracks are there. But they don't really bother me. You really can almost not see them. It's just under certain angles. I don't know, I'm really happy about it, this is the best result so far, I'm not really upset that much today. So let's attach false lashes, add gloss to her lips and then we'll move on and make a dress for her. I've bought this beautiful shiny fabric and now I will make a cute pink kimono for her. I want to make it quite short because I think the short dresses look just super cute on curvy rainbow high dolls and for the rest it will be quite a normal kimono.
check it out. I don't know. Oh my god, it looks so cute. I couldn't decide which ribbon to use for her belt. Just the one with oranges or both oranges and strawberries. So I've ended up making a double-sided belt so she can wear it both ways. I don't know guys, I think the outfit is finished and I think this is officially the cutest doll dress I've ever made. It looks super happy, super colorful, absolutely love it. I have decided to combine it with white socks, I just took the original socks and cut off the rainbow high part of it and turned it in. I just don't know yet how I want to wear them, I don't know, up or roll down, I will decide it later. So now we can make a tail and I've bought this piece of orange fur, faux fur, to make a super big and super fluffy fox tail. actually quite easy I thought I would have to stuff it a little bit to give it a shape but it looks super pretty without any stuff and really much better than I expected I just want to add a little bit of white to the end of this tail and for this I will use the same technique I showed you earlier in this video when I made this doll's hair I will make a couple of strands of white hair out of white yarn and then I will attach this yarn to the top of the tail So and this is how it looks, well looks good to me, very natural, very cute. Now I will take a piece of warble thermoplastic and I will make a pin that will connect the tail to the doll's body. And after this I will have to make a hole first on the doll's back and then on the back of the dress. so adorable love this doll already now I still want to make a pair of shoes for her before I go on and blush her body and I want to make a pair of sandals for her using the cork to make the bottom of the sandals I have here a super old cork so let's experiment
and this is what I've made so far I don't know it looks really cute to me so now I want to make a thin strap out of the same fabric I used to make the kimono and I will glue it to the bottom of the shoes The sandals look cute, they will go really good with the outfit So now I can finally blush her body because it's supposed to match the face And for this I will sand her body first to make the surface matte Then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear And then we'll blush it with the same soft pastels as we just used on her face And after this I will still spray on some freckles to her body And here is finally my finished fox girl, a young kitsune. I think this is one of the cutest dolls I've ever made. I'm simply in love with her look and with these bright colors, she makes me really feel happier. We're also finally moving into the summer here in our hemisphere, so this is how I feel now and this is what I want to see at the moment. Her eyes look really good despite those tiny cracks, but again you almost cannot see them. I'm glad this resin part of the makeover didn't upset me too much this time so I think I'm kind of eventually getting better at it her outfit is just my favorite I really love her tiny kimono and the tail looks really luxurious she has just one tail because she is a young creature Kitsune get new tails when they become older and kind of more experienced and our little fox she has just one tail for now but I'm going to make a white celestial Kitsune with nine tails in the future the one that kind of has reached the peak of her form of her power but this this is an idea for another makeover. By the way, the next week I'm planning to announce the winner of our 600,000 followers collab, so stay tuned guys. And this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for 3 days like usually, so please check it out if you like her. And also guys, I haven't asked you already for a while, but if you have any good doll ideas, you can also let these ideas in the comments. And also please like comments that you like, the ideas that you would support. Like this I will be able to see like what is trendy right now, what you like most. So this is also a little request for you. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you very soon, normally in two weeks or maybe next week, in my new doll repaint video. So, love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye!